Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on video of Windows 10 Mobile Build 10586.456. Microsoft has last pushed this build to Windows Insiders in release previewing. And as you can correctly guess, this build does not bring any new changes or any new features. What it brings are like a host of or lots of uh, fixes and improvements over the last build. So as you know that the last release built to all non-insiders was 10586.420 and uh, this build 10586.456 brings lots of fixes and improvements over that build and if the feedback remains positive from windows insiders this build will finally go to all the insiders and non-insiders so now coming to <clears throat> how the uh, build we have seen real life or uh, while uh, during the hands-on so the build is quite stable it's responsive You can check the UI navigation and it usually is responsive across the UI navigation. I mean, it, it's not much different from what you may have I mean, experienced with the last builds, last release builds, which I mean, all of them are stable uh, daily driver kind of builds. So, I mean, there are nothing new uh, in terms of like the smoothness, the responsiveness, etc. So, all you may have already kind of experienced. So we'll send it to the background, we can open some apps, we can open Cortana because we heard that Cortana crashes for many, <clears throat> and we can quickly check and in our case the Cortana works uh, fine actually, that I don't see any issue. How are you? Quite well. Thanks for asking. So there you go. You see the Cortana works fine. So we can uh, quickly check how the gaming works like. So we have uh, installed a new Subway Surfer, the UWP version. And as we can, uh, I mean, show it to you that the game resumes quite well. We will send you to the background. I will try to resume it. So if the game is optimized for Windows 10 Mobile, it, it actually, you can see the multitasking works very well, even on a device like Lumia 525, which is running like the Windows 10 Mobile build 10586.456. So there you go. So the gaming is, I mean, the gaming works fine on uh, the build 10586.456. And as we wanted to like show it to you that even the game resume works quite well. If it is a UWP app, app optimized for Windows 10 Mobile with the games which are like older games not optimized for Windows 10 Mobile, you can face issues in while uh, resuming it. But then they, that is like a work for developers and Micro should try to convince them to optimize their games. <clears throat> talking about uh, other apps which usually are giving some issues sometimes like maps which is kind of a bit of heavy app then we can think about the store app The store usually now, I mean, it's working fine, especially on the builds like 10586 uh, kind of builds or like TS Threshold 2 builds. Store is not crashing that much as many crashes we have seen uh, in case of 
uh, redstone so like on some redstone builds dressing redstone build we have seen store crashing a lot but here it works fine we will send it to the background so that we can actually quickly check the multitasking part again so we quickly saw that the gaming works fine especially if it's a uwp game optimized for windows 10 mobile then it really works fine there is no issue so we will again see how the multitasking behaves like Here comes the Cortana, resumes quite well. So we can generally make a guess or we can generally understand that if uh, on a device like Lumia 525 with two generation old uh, hardware, it, it runs quite well and even the multitasking we have so well so it will obviously be faster on uh, better devices like mid-rangers or high-end flagships so uh, if you talk about other things like if you talk about the battery life we can actually show it to you so here uh, it sh says that it I mean it's like 9 hours 39 minutes but still uh, if you ask us this Lumia 525 even with old battery is giving us our battery life of around 20 to 22 hours so that is something which is really good we will just quickly check how the browsing works because that is one area where people uh, face issues again Let's send it to the background. And we can now try to open other apps or resume other apps. And it again works fine. So that's what we wanted to show that even <clears throat> with uh, like this kind of heavy apps and games open in background, this even on a Lumia 525, the build actually pulls everything very well. So uh, obviously it's a good build stable build we did not face any freezes or any crashes or those kind of issues on this build even the apps are working fine they don't crash we don't see any many issues even like st apps like store etc they are working fine coming to bugs yes it's here so you can see the microsoft is uh, has not uh, tried to you know add the icons for the start or other uh, you know a native official like uh, bluetooth etc so they have not added the icons it's there in the redstone builds but on threshold microsoft has not done it and perhaps they are thinking that they will do it uh, while releasing the anniversary update but then i mean it does not look good anyways <laughs> if we talk about the installation experience then it has been very very smooth 30 to 35 minutes was all that it took for the build to get uh, installed i mean the, the data migrated and the uh, mobile device up and running so it's all a good smooth experience with the build 10586.456 for us i mean depending on the devices many i we have seen like uh, people complaining about some issues with the lumia 535 that they are facing so we are not facing any uh, those kind of issues on uh, our device or our devices so with that we come to end of this video hope you have liked this video uh, obviously put uh, do let us know in uh, the comment section so stay tuned for more, keep watching.